So today I'm going to be using the VDL primer by Avon. This is a very glow luminizing primer. It is not tacky at all whatsoever. It's more liquidy and it gives you that kind of glittery, glossy look. I personally think that this is good for somebody with dry skin or somebody just in general who enjoys in a specific areas in your face that type of glow on it. For concealer today under the eyes just to brighten up the area i'm going to be utilizing the 260n by rare beauty by selena gomez the touch brightening concealer and i personally like it a lot i think it's very brightening it doesn't do the concealing as much but i think it brightens up my under eye area and it works fantastic i personally hadn't tried it just yet until now and i gotta tell you that i'm very excited because of course we see all this hype about selena gomez in 2020 and rare beauty and it's fantastic and it's fabulous and sometimes you just can't afford it but now going back and working in the beauty industry i gotta try the formulas i gotta try the different brands and i feel like i have to spill the tea so i was very impressed with the dove foot applicator it is very thick it is very large and in charge i personally think that this is such a beautiful dewy finish and I gotta tell you, it works very, very natural on my skin. So when I apply it, I use these wedges or sponges that are very easy to use and disposable on the go. So let's say if you're in a rush and you don't wanna wear a beauty blender, or for whatever reason, you just don't have one, or you don't wanna wash as many beauty blenders, then this is gonna be perfect. So you can tell the difference right there. And it's definitely brightening up the under eye area. Whereas the other one, you can see my under eyes. Now I am working on my skincare and I'm making sure that I also use really good eye creams, but on a daily basis, if you have to wear makeup or if you feel like you need a little bit of extra, I think this is the perfect fit for you. Now for foundation, I'll be using the Charlotte Tilbury in number eight. This is the beautiful skin and this is the eight warm. I think that she has like a whole variety of like number ones, number twos, like she has like three undertones. So I think that you definitely are gonna like this type of foundation if you're going for more of a natural look. I personally feel like this is more of a liquidy, dewy, glossy type of finish and as you guys know i have very dry skin so anything that it's gonna make my skin more hydrated more dewy and what i personally love about charlotte Tilbury products in general is that i learned with Tuamel that majority of her skincare products or excuse me majority of her makeup products are infused with skincare ingredients like her powders have hyaluronic acid so i think that's really really nice to see you know make the makeup industry include more ingredients that are going to benefit in the longer run for your skin so as you can tell it is that very dewy it is more of a medium coverage to full coverage and i think you can definitely build it up without making it look you know cakey or overdone or making it look a little bit more you know uncomfortable for your eyes now just be aware that when you're applying and if this is the first time you're applying makeup um you know if you're a beginner or if you just don't like to wear a lot of makeup when you're just applying foundation you're gonna see your whole face let's say if you're using a full coverage foundation you're gonna see your whole face with one tone only whereas on a daily basis we see you know our skin naturally like with redness or maybe you have rosacea or maybe you have acne or maybe you, if you have dark spots maybe you'll see the dark spots so and when you're using foundation, you just gotta add that a little bit of extra love. So let's say highlight, maybe you wanna add a little bit, you know, contour, maybe concealer, maybe a little bit of blush. So it, just to make it look more natural and, you know, just on a daily basis, I think if you wanna be prepared for on the go, this is the perfect fit for you. Now for blush, I'll be using, or blush and highlighter, I'll be using Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm gonna apply highlighter. Doesn't matter if you wanna start with highlighter or if you wanna start with blush, I think this is just up to your preference. So as you can tell, we removed the tip or the mold, removed the tip of the applicator just to be more sanitary and avoid any type of bacteria. Now, when we apply it, I personally apply it on the cheekbones, on the nose, to make it look a little bit glossy and dewy. Now, I personally think that this is such an easy process. So let's say if you don't like powders or you feel like powders enhance the texture of your skin, I would definitely recommend to use either a cream 
or just a liquid one. I love all skincare and, you know, in general, all makeup of Charlotte Tilbury that I personally have tried. And when I speak on it, it's because I personally have enjoyed the products. Now, I will be applying the blush. This is the shade Pink Gasm. And yes, of course, we have Peach Glasm and then now Pink Gasm. And I think that you have, like, again, if you remove the, the top, like the cotton pad that it has, the applicator, you gotta be very careful because once you squeeze it, it's like super, super like liquidy and runny. So you may squeeze a little bit more than what you want. So you just gotta be very gentle with the applicator. And now you're seeing me applying the whole blush around my whole cheeks to give it a little bit more color just and also it looks more natural that way for me when i am applying blush or highlighter i like to use the same witch or beauty blender because i feel like because since it already has foundation it's gonna blend both of the products now to set it up i'm gonna be using the one size by patrick star this is a matte finish i'm gonna go ahead and let it dry in and then for brows you'll see me using the nyx product now the one size has been new to me so i cannot tell you a lot about it but i gotta say that it does maintain the makeup in one place now for brows i'll be using this brow pencil by nyx and this one is in black just in general i feel like i like my eyebrows really black and then for a gel i'm gonna be utilizing this gel by kosas i love kosas now one thing that i don't like about this product i don't know if it's mine or just mine went that way it has this particular scent that i'm not really familiar with so i don't know what it is but i gotta tell you that it gives it very good volume and it adds a little bit more of color so let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about it if you guys have tried any of these products and then to finalize the look i'll be applying a little bit of balm from tarte this one came in my boxy charm but you can definitely get it at any other places and i think that this adds a little bit of shade and a little bit of coloring and a little bit more glossy and doingness and this is how i look hope you guys love the whole makeup very natural very simple and let me know in the comments down below what do you think if you would try any of these particular products and if you have any questions in just in general and then just to set it up my under eyes i'm gonna use this powder by avon true match you cannot go wrong with this very very natural very affordable and i'll be seeing you guys pretty soon and just make sure to watch until the end so you can see the finalized look on a daylight thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys soon